What is shaking, homie? So today I got something awesome. Today I got the Elisa Surge Mesh electronic drum set all for our unboxing and review. This box is freaking huge. This is an eight piece drum set. Now, I have an acoustic kit, but in the apartment I live in, I can't play it. It's basically a decoration, so I'm gonna break it down and just put it in a closet. It's also making a lot of echo in my videos. You can hear that right now. I have to edit it out most of the time and it's really annoying. So we're going on to electric kits. I did a ton of research and basically I found out that most people will say this is the best kit you can get for under $500. So it's got all mesh heads. It looks really sick. You can plug your phone into it and play along. Um, it's got all sorts of cool features. Pretty nice module. Um, looks pretty nice overall. So I guess we'll just see how it goes. Let's uh, let me bring you over into the other room. I'll give you some close-ups of the box. We'll unbox everything. Um, I'll do like a time lapse of building it or whatever. And then from there, we'll uh, we'll play it. So let's get into it. Okay guys, let me show you this box really quick before I just tear into it. Uh, nice nice box, at uh, least a Surge Mesh Kit, 8 piece electric drum set, and then here it gives it like an explanation of the overall drum set, uh, I'll give you a gist of it. So the Elisa Surge Mesh Kit is a complete 8 piece electronic drum kit featuring dual zone mesh head toms, dual zone mesh show and snare, 8 inch mesh kick, um, mesh drum heads are proven to be the best choice for electronic drummers, blah 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 blah, blah all that stuff. Um, also too here, i uh, just give you some more features. Basically all the same stuff they say there. Um, and it also comes with the kick pedal and everything to tell you that there. And here, this is all about the electronics. Um, it's got 24 presets and 16 user ready to play songs. 60 build along, play along track sequences, metronome and performance recorders. CD MP3 aux to play along. MIDI in and out. Stereo line for your headphones and output. So all that. On the side, they actually tell you all the same stuff, but just in really small font here. So nothing really there. The other side is just picture, basically. And then the bottom is the same thing as on the top. Okay, so um, let's unbox it. Let's see the overall components. And then on the sides they get all my address and all that crap, but I taped over it. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have quite a few boxes in here. Okay, so... Okay, so they got all these boxes labeled individually. So here we have an 8 inch drum pad. Another 8 inch drum pad. And one more, eight inch trumpets. So these are all my top, my two toms, my floor tom. Ten inch snare drum, my ten inch drum pad, my kick pedal. Let's take a quick look at this. I have a couple other pedals. I have a double pedal, and I also have an iron pedal and a single pedal. I'll probably be hooking one of those up, but let's take a look at this. Doesn't look bad, but also doesn't look like if you're going from an Iron Cobra or a DW5000 or something. It's not going to be quite bad, but it still looks fairly nice. Um, these sides are plastic. Uh, this is like metal molded over plastic. Um, single chain. I mean, it looks like it'll work fine. There's the beater. Make sure you want to use the plastic side on the beater. Okay, so I'll set that aside. Garbage, garbage. Okay, we have our accessories box. So let's see what that's, that has in it. Okay, so very important, we got our build manual. So, and our, our tools to put it together. We're gonna need that. We got our wiring harness. Oops. A pair of wood tipped look like they're 5A drumsticks. Probably a power supply or something. Yep, the power supply. Looks like it uses a standard AC power cord to it, so that's cool. If you ever need to replace it, too easy. A little Alesis nameplate for the front of the drum set. And uh, the tom racks. Okay, so let's get back to the main box. 
Here we got the pedal for the hi hat. We got the the module. Let's uh, AKA the brain box. So here is the module looks like. We'll get more into that when we plug it in and fire it up. So the surge uses basically the same module as the nitro mesh. The command, the one above uses the next one. So if this video does really well and you guys want to see me review the command, uh, let me know too. And then I can, you know, I'll get the upgrade parts, set it up, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, next. I got my symbol pad. Uh, empty box to just help in the pad. Okay, my kick pad. Alright. Okay, then the last box in here. The last box in here, this is all the rods and everything. It's probably going to have to be the first one I open to make the rack. Rack frame, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. So all, all of these parts. Okay, so I'm going to adjust camera, push it back a little bit so you guys can see this better. And I'm going to time lapse me putting it together. Uh, I bet you it'll probably take about an hour, just guessing. But when I'm all done, I'll tell you how smoothly it went. I'll show you some close ups of the drum set and everything. And then uh, we'll plug it in and start playing. So let's do it. Okay guys, so it took me about an hour to put it together. Now, I really like how they did all the wire management on here. I really like how everything's tucked away. They gave you all the Velcro straps. Um, for the most part, it looks pretty good. Um, I don't have it plugged into a drum amp yet. I still have to adjust all the all the toms, the height of everything, just make sure it's comfortable for me. Um, if you put this together, the, my only hitch was I had to take a couple things off and flip them around. This, you wanna make sure the tom, the rods to hold the toms on. This part's coming out the back like that. I had them on the front and I had to flip it over. Um, other than that, it's pretty straightforward. I warn you, the directions are like Lego directions. So if you can put Legos together, you're probably okay, but they're just like black and white pictures. And yeah, but uh, the kick drum actually looks fairly nice. I'm gonna test it with the regular one before I try putting my double pedal on it or anything. But uh, looks good. Here, let's check out right here. Now, I don't have it plugged in yet or anything, but you can see that everything is working because like if I hit something, it'll light up. Here you hit the rim, it tells you the rim control. So really cool, but uh, looking really nice. Okay, so I'm gonna adjust the height of everything and then let's start playing right, guys, it. So yeah, um, I have just barely started playing around with this. Uh, it took me like 20 minutes to put everything exactly where I wanted it once I moved it into this room. Um, yeah, right now I have I just barely gone through all the, all the kits and everything on the module. I'll show you all that in a minute. Right now, I just want to show you the first user kit I made. I basically just took kit number one and changed two of the drums. But uh, hopefully you can hear this. I got it going through my computer. So it's my first time trying to record anything. So um, yeah, warning, I haven't played drums in like 10 years. So don't expect this to be amazing or anything. And uh, let's hit it. I just want to see how good it sounds. And uh, then I'll get into showing you guys everything on the module. So.
got the double pedal hooked up now. Oh, you're not going to double pedal yet, though. Okay guys, I'm going to try to not make this any longer than it has to be, but I want to go through, show you all the basics of the module, and um, I want to show you all the different sounds in here, all the different kits, and just uh, show you how everything is. Okay, so first off, there's 24 pre-made kits and then 25 user kits, um, so let's start off right at the beginning, but before I get into that, let me show you the basics here is the volume knob. Um, you can adjust the volume, obviously. Here is um, the drum on and off if you're listening to here's all there's different songs you can play like here I want to listen um, if I play this it starts playing a song I can listen to the beat get the beat down I can turn the drum off try to do it myself and then when it comes back I can realize how off I was or whatever and there's there's 60 of these so there's a lot of different a lot of different songs you can do turn the drum off uh, you can record on it really cool okay enough of that there's all these cool buttons here that these will actually well here, let's go to kit. They'll hit. They'll actually hit whatever you have programmed, so you can go through if you're just trying to check, like, okay, the snare drums. See what they all sound like. Um, also, too, really cool because whatever you're playing, it'll light up. See, pretty cool, huh? Okay, so enough of that. Let's um, get into the in here. These are this is for the songs. This is for all your different kits. This is for your voice. Voice is like for changing an individual drum. Um, also, too, if you long press these, you can select pattern, rhythm, or beat, and those are like learning games. They kind of like the kind of like there where you're playing the song. It's it's like a learning feature you can play along to. Also, too, there's an auxiliary port too. You can plug in your phone and play along to whatever music you want, which is freaking awesome. Okay, so let's get into these kits. So the first six are all rock kits. I really like kit one. This is your standard rock kit. And kit two, pretty simple, a little less snappy on the snare, a little higher pitched on the toms. Kit three. I like the sound of kit three, kinda. I really like the snare at four. Oh, I love those snappy, those snappy snares for playing punk music. They're awesome. Yeah, kit four is pretty good. Okay, here's kit five. Not bad. Kind of like a jazzy feel. Right. Kit seven. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Oh, did I skip eight there? Yeah, I skipped eight. Very similar to seven. Nine. Kind of weird ringing sound to the toms in that one. Okay, number 10. Kind of has like a marching band feel to me. But with rock toms. A lot of these use the same, a lot of the same noises. Just one thing will be different. It's 11, 12. Oop. Lucky number 13. Kind of a Rasta. Kind of a Rasta feel for that one. Okay, 14. <laughs> That's a mean sounding crash. Okay. I hate that snare. Okay, I don't like kit 15. <laughs> funny, funny sounding. 17. Really high pitched. <laughs> kind of like that. Okay. Almost made it through all the pre made ones. Kind of electronic. <laughs> Weird. Okay, get 20. Not for me. Yeah, 21, not that bad. I like the sound of the hi-hat. Okay. 23. Oh man, really electric.
<laughs> I don't like that one. All right, last pre-made kit. Okay, so the ones at the end there are a little electronic -y for me. Okay, but then 25 through 40, so the last 15 are all user kits, which means you can make it however you want. So let's go say, for example, let's say, I remember I said I really like the snare on kit four. Okay, so I really like the snare. Okay, so what I could do is here I can hit voice, and it tells me right now the snare is number 67. So what I can do is I can hit save, and it'll go automatically to my first user um, kit. So it's going to go 25, but if I want to put 26, say for example, I could put it at 26. Well, I'll put it at 25 because I like it anyways. Okay, so now on my user kit, it's already there. So that's you can go through and you can do that for every individual drum. Really cool. So you can really customize these. You can make 15 with endless possibilities. Really, really cool. Um, also, too, because because of the rims, these are all two tone. Um, they're like um, two two triggers. You can trigger them by hitting them in the mesh or hitting the rim. So you could make the rim a cowbell or whatever. If you wanted another ride symbol, you could make it your floor toms, your know, rim or whatever. Each rim you could make an individual thing. So there really is a lot of possibilities here. Also, too, on the back you can plug in another crash symbol or another ride symbol which is freaking awesome there's MIDI in and out to connect it to your computer for drum software if you want even more um, but overall I'm very impressed with this module I'm still just a beginner getting used to it um, because I haven't played drums in 10 years and I was never the best drummer in the world to begin with I'm very excited about all these learning stages I have here uh, and uh, couldn't be happier with that also too that I could just plug this the auxiliary in and play to whatever songs off YouTube, that is a super big plus. So that's it for the module, but um, for this price tag, I'm very impressed with it. All right guys, thank you so much for watching. I love this drum kit. Um, in conclusion, I guess I would say, so far I don't have a single complaint about it. It was easy to put together. Uh, everything about it, I really like. I like how the cymbals are all chokeable. I like the way the mesh feels. Uh, I like the user interface. I like the sounds it makes. I like that I can play with the headphones and I'm not annoying my neighbors. Um, but yeah, and I also like the custom, like the way you can customize it. You can add more stuff to it. Um, so down the road, I'm definitely going to add another cymbal because I like to play punk and I like to hit two cymbals. Um, but other than that, I think I pretty much have it set up how I want. I want to tweak the settings. Really, I really need to adjust this double pedal. Um, but I think that's more the double pedal itself I need to adjust than the settings. But yeah, let me know what you guys want to see. I'm really looking forward to getting better, I'm practicing a lot and uh, doing some drum covers, but let me know what other stuff you want to see. If you want to see me review any other electric drum products, uh, let me know. I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Uh, thank you to Elisa's for making this cool stuff. This video wasn't paid for. Um, they didn't give me this drum set for free or anything. So, um, yeah, so that's it. So keep on rocking, and I'll see you later.